well. This is a first for the CTS interview room. I never thought I would have an adult actress on my show. But ladies and gentlemen, I got the one, the only, ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca Love. Rebecca, how are you doing today? I can't believe you just called me an actress, like a real actress. Come on now. <laughs> I, I'm sure you didn't have an orgasm in all your movies. No, then I would be a real actress. Because I could really fake it till you make it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, you too. I got to do some editing. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Wait a minute. You can't say. You, it's YouTube. I haven't said I any. Can, I, I can say. what You can say whatever you want to. It's my channel. Oh, there you go. It's, okay. not, it's not like I got a thousand subscribers. It's, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> I feel your pain in some of these avenues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what have you been up to since uh, I last saw you on Showtime? Oh, last time you saw me on Showtime. Well, did you see my last movie on Amazon Prime? No. Uh, what? No. There you go. I, I'm here uh, with five kids. I, I can't watch. Well, <laughs> then Rebecca somebody's Love been movies. watching my movies because it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably my 23 year old. Um, Girls, Guns, and Blood actually, it's really bad. It's really bad. I don't even know if you would call it Skinamax, but it has a little bit of nudity. And mm -hmm. I got called in last minute. I was at a hockey game in Vegas. Christine Wynn calls me. She's like, can you fly out tonight to go do this movie? Because Stormy Daniels, before the thing came out about the president, she was supposed to show up. And she had the crash weekend of getting all the dialogue and all that out and shoot her stuff. And I'm like, no, I can't come out tonight. It's not going to happen. I'm at a hockey game. But I'll fly out first thing in the morning. Just send me the sides of what you want me to learn. So I barely get any sleep, but I study all those lines and I get to set and it's not even the scene they're shooting. So I don't know anything. So basically, wow. yeah, it, it, everybody thought I, I, you know, didn't memorize my lines and stuff. And the next day I had them down. But the thing is, I had the wrong lines. That's not the one I studied for. So... In three days, I shot Girls, Guns, and Blood. I had no idea what the movie is about until I went to the premiere. Yeah. So, <laughs> I got to ask you. Uh, do they have plots in this movie? Uh, do they have plots? I don't think you watch it for the plot. I, I don't think that's <laughs> mandatory. And I don't think it's don't... mandatory in the script writing either. <laughs> I don't think so either. Right. My, my, my wife and I always joke around like because, you know, we grew up during the I don't know. To be honest, Rebecca, uh, I grew up during the time where Cinemax and Showtime was like at, at 12 o'clock. I mean, you was going you was going to see those Rebecca Love movies. You was going to see uh, those Beverly uh, Lynn movies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you jumped to it because. <laughs> to Can I take to your line? No, no, it's okay because we was off uh, camera to everybody watching. We was talking about her film career, and I was like, I have my, one of my favorite actresses. My favorite actress, of course, being me, the jackass, I should have said Rebe Rebecca Love was my favorite actress. No, I yeah. like your honesty. I like your honesty because she's amazing and she's gorgeous. Oh yeah, she she was something, and was she was like, doing them probably before I was doing them. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. I don't know for sure, but yeah, yeah she she put some acting in her stuff. I was like, God, she, she seems like <laughs> so, she's really so what are you trying job. to say? What are you trying to say? She put some well, acting in her stuff. I, that I don't add that little get, seasoning on top. <laughs> look, she would get red in the chest, mm -hmm. and it would. I was everybody at home was like, God, Joey. So everybody has their path. What made you want to get into the adult? industry now before you answer are you in the adult industry or are you just making like beat like movies for showtime and cinemax oh you weren't on pornhub no no never you've never been on there yes i've been on there yeah <laughs> there, but you weren't looking yeah. at my movies were you no because they're vintage yes <laughs> i i um well first of all i got into it i went to college for performing arts and 
I used to work 40 hours a week and go to school. But I, I just couldn't handle it. And one day a stripper came into the bar and I picked her brain. And then I'm like, hmm, I can do that. Uh, so I cocktail waitress, like most strippers start out. And then I snowballed into uh, stripping. And then I saw a feature. And then I asked the feature, well, how do you do that? Meanwhile, still going to college. And I set up some interviews with Hustler and Playboy. Uh, Hustler took me, and then from there, I started making movies so I could feature. Uh, mind you, I stopped going to college, and I always wanted to be an actress. I just didn't think I was going to be this type of actress, but that's okay because there's an honesty in it, and I like that freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I I own being a woman, and I own doing all my own stuff. Like, I run all my stuff, my websites, um, my gaming, streaming, my business, uh, a podcasting. I have a network. So I do it all. I really should hire somebody. <laughs> so uh, so I was telling my wife, I was like, I want to have this young lady on. That's exactly the word I use, young lady. And she was like, did you ever watch your movies? And I was like, yeah, you know, back when I was a teenager, back when, you know, I had Showtime or Cinemax. Like, you know, Showtime is movie channels. People who don't understand what movie channels are because you had to pay like $14 extra a month on your cable bill. And you're, you're thinking that maybe everybody knows what a cable, like a, what a movie channel is. My, my kids don't know what a movie channel is. Oh, really? Of course. Of course, my kids won't be watching this interview. Uh, they could get far worse things on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, anyway, so I was telling you, you know, when I had Showtime and Cinemax, you know, I, yeah, I was a teenage boy. I had a few crusty socks laying on the floor. I didn't say all that, but uh, I hope not. So she's like, so. My wife made a joke, and she'd been saying it all, like the whole week. She was like, "So you like watching people? You like watching people have sex with a belly button?" And now think about it, Rebecca. Some scenes it looked like y'all were like having sex with her <laughs> because they were fake. <laughs> yeah, because uh, sometimes you'll be watching that scene, the man will be on top. I can't believe I'm going to illustrate this, but you'll be on top, and the man is just moving his chest. Yeah, just doing that. Yeah, I know yeah, exactly like, what like, you're talking about. I'm, it, it, we're like, what the hell? That's not how you had sex. Of course, at the time, I, I never had sex. So I wouldn't know. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like. It, I it's don't not know like where I, it's supposed to go. No, I thought you, matter of fact, true story, can't believe I'm going to tell you this. Tell me, I want to hear first it. Time, first time I was on you, uh, first, first time I ever did it. I can see myself doing this. <laughs> you had the rock and back forth thing. <laughs> I hope you didn't yeah. think belly buttons were vaginas. I, y'all sure the hell did. I was like, <laughs> I was like well, belly. I can say hey, when does we it go that high? When we so were, what now? well, I can say when we were fake sexing that I had a uh, patch on and he had a. <laughs> So when you're connected, I mean, it's there. I mean, it's in the right spot. It just doesn't go in. Right. So I don't know about your belly button sex, but yeah, I'm, maybe some directors make you do it on the belly button just so it doesn't have an accidental oops. I, I don't know. I've never been in those movies, but uh, my wife, used to, that's her bit. I guess it's with those jokes, Yeah. if you was there at the moment and you heard exactly what she said, it would have been funny. But since it was just like second person saying it. I totally as, get it though. Because I have seen movies like that going, wait a minute. Yeah. It's just like, not making on. sense with the puzzle. <laughs> 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 so you got into Hustler and uh, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff well, to get to where I need to be so I could feature. Well, so my, my question my question is as though, did you start off in, now that I'm just now learning that you actually do real porn. I did porn did before start, Cinemax. Is that, that's what I was going to ask you. Did you do porn before uh, the B-rated movies? 
Are yeah. they considered B rated movies? I call them B movies. I mean, they're Skinamax, so yeah, yeah they're B movies. <laughs> That's you know, um, yeah. So I was a porn star. I worked for Vivid, Wicked, VCA, all the top end and then one day this girl didn't show up and I lived right down the road and my girlfriend was on set for one of these Skinamax movies and she's like hey could you fill in for this person so I showed up 30 minutes later and I uh, did the the scene for them and they just started hiring me from there on out so that's how I got in the Skinamax movies and then there was another director that shot B movies and he's like I would like to use her too so that's yeah. how I I got the ball rolling. Uh, I mean, you did a lot of those movies, didn't you? Yeah, once you're on the crew and everybody likes you, they pretty much use the same people. Kind of yeah. like an Adam Sandler movie. They use the same people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, now, we just talk about plots. Uh, I mean, it's cool that you can have fun with it. Uh, oh, it's so cheesy. Yeah. Uh, the thing about it is it seems like it always starts the same way. It's like a group of friends go into this house, mansion. They're always like these very successful young people. And they go in the house and it's three couples. And all of a sudden, each couple will start having sex for no apparent reason. And then that couple will go to another couple. And then is that in all the it's couples the get back together? <laughs> it's the same <laughs> formula like a horror movie. I, is it? you know, it pretty yeah. much, I know they use the same scripts and they just change things out. So it's the same formula. Yeah. And sometimes y'all go to space. Oh yeah. Sometimes. sometimes just like Jason X. Sometimes yeah. we go to space. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's a murder that you got to solve. Sometimes. Before, and the only, way you, the only way you can uh, solve the murder is to have sex with the murderer. Well, that's, that, how that's how you solve it. Yeah. You, you got to get down it. and dirty. You got to get down and dirty. The detective, hey, a, a cop's life is a Detective chaos. down and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that's your, that's going to that's gonna be the next movie. Right, right there. Down and dirty. That is going to be the next movie. Now, are you still doing these movies? Well, like I said, I showed up for that one a few years ago. But I don't make them like consistently like before because I don't think they buy them as much anymore. There is they kind of a I don't think they buy the the or lease the movies anymore because there was a death to Skinamax pretty much. Was it? And there was, but I I honestly I, I don't know where those type of movies go anymore. Well, we, grew, we grew up. We did we grow up. We yeah, evolved. we grew up. Yeah, but there's uh, a whole I mean, other batch coming along behind you. I, hey, after after you have kids, <laughs> so so. But that said, you know, when you're a teenager, it, you know, you got your own room, or you, you know, and you got TV. Yeah, you can turn on a Rebecca Love movie. When you turn twenties and you're living by yourself and you don't have a girlfriend, yeah, you turn on a Rebecca Love movie. But once you get married. You don't know what happened to the Skinamax movies. You don't know that they're still on. You got kids. You gotta watch what you you gotta watch what you watch because especially these days, you got you can't just turn on a regular TV show now. Because <laughs> it's like nah. Like like really and truly, we have to like my, my daughter will come to me or my son will come to me and say, Hey, we wanna watch this, this, and this. We have to sit through a whole season of stupid stuff. Just to make sure there's nothing on there that we don't want our kids to watch. Because no. there's always going to be something on there. Even in cartoons. It's crazy now. Uh, hey, I believe you. I believe you. I, I haven't stopped watching those crazy things. Let alone with my significant other. We, you know, if we really need to get fast through the bedroom, it's like, hurry up, pull up a webcam show. Let's do this. So, we have a very... Um, I don't know. I, I guess because he's just so used to it, mm -hmm. you know, be, you know, well, uh, dating. That's right. Up. That's right. People. She said, webcam. welcome to the CTS oh. interview room. This is the Sunday interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, webcam is pretty big. I mean, everybody, 
I no, feel like- no, it's the fact. It's the fact that you know, <laughs> you said, "Hey, we need to have sex." Let's hook up the webcam. Let's make some money. Oh no, 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 no! Oh God, no, 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 no! He would never go on webcam. He's in corporate. No, um, I would oh. say I would tell him to go ahead. Pull up a chicky poo on webcam and let's just get the motors, you know, because come on, he has me every night. Sometimes you just need a, a fresh face. No, okay. Let's, I, I got to ask you. Yeah. I've never been a jealous type. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I mean, my wife had two kids prior to me. Uh, I, I pretty much don't care what my wife did prior to me and if she tries to tell me about it, I'm the type of person that's like, hey, don't, hey, keep that, keep that, <laughs> keep it to yourself. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't care. Cause I mean, I don't want to know, you know, okay. I don't, so, but that said, do you, when you're in relationships and when guys find out what you do, do they, you go ahead and tell them what you do or is it like well, a I'm month really- or so, hey. I've only been in two serious relationships, first with my baby's daddy, and then the transition over to this relationship, and this one's been since 2005. So it's been a minute, both relationships. So I, I, I always tell people, I haven't dated since the 90s, because it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, but they already, baby's daddy, I got into it when I was with him, so obviously he knew. And the second person... Yeah, he knew me as Rebecca Love first. Okay. Yeah. So you keep Rebecca Love and Rebecca whatever separate. I keep Re- I keep Rebecca Love separate from Chrissy. Okay. Yeah. Because so, you got to turn I mean, it off now and then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So what's Chrissy like? Oh, Chrissy. What is she like? She's a homemaker. She's just uh, domesticated. I have a daughter in law school right now. I make sure dinner's on the table by seven or eight, depending. And it's pretty boring, you know. I'm I'm pretty much a stay at home mom, but I run my business from my office. Well, I mean, it can't be that boring. I mean, that's your life. Well, you asked about Christy, not Rebecca. I'm asking about. <laughs> I'm talking to Christy right now. I'm talking to Christy right. Rebecca, get out. I'm talking to Christy. <laughs> I mean. That's the, that's the life you chose right there. You know, I love being it. domestic. I love it, but when you're talking to people, they want to hear the the glamorous side and stuff. So, well, well, I mean, to me, it's what's more glamorous knowing that your daughter is in law school. Isn't that awesome? She's, yeah, I mean, proud. to me, I mean, I mean, to me, that shows you that you did your job as a mother. Uh, uh-huh. You got a loving uh, boyfriend. I, I take it. He, boyfriend right yeah yeah i've never been married okay, okay. Uh, you got a loving boyfriend uh y'all seem what well, everything that rebecca has told me y'all seem to be in love sure. i mean what to me that's not that's not boring that's being a success story well thank you so much but you know it's it's not something i normally talk about except i do a little bit on my podcast you know a little right. bit yeah i mean we won't have, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to but i mean i'm I'm gonna Doesn't say bother this. me. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to say this. Honestly, Christy seems like a very cool person. She, be, Christy, sounds like the person that I would have. I would love to hang out with as a friend. I feel like you, your wife, and I would be hanging out playing Cards Against Humanity. That's that's what I feel, and having a beer. Kick it back, having a beer. I'm not going to have one beer. Oh, neither would I. It's like <laughs> Lay's potato chips. I cannot yeah. just have one. <laughs> no, no, you know, it's like one beer. Yeah. We're gonna have have a you beer. played Cards Against Humanity, though? Uh, no, I have not. Oh. Uh, we play cards. Okay, but, well, uh, greatest card game ever, Cards Against Humanity. It's made for horrible people. And basically, it is, there's this card that flips over, and you have 10 cards in your hand, and you have to match it up to the best answer, but you need a group of friends to play it with. You're going to play it once, and it's going to be addicting. Really? It, it's yeah, I, a twist I, between comedy one-liners and horrible things that go with those cards. I just now got my wife to start watching football. and I watch football because I put action on the game. Because I live in Vegas, so I do the sports betting app. And now I watch football because I f- want to win my ticket. 
So yeah. you need to put action on the game. She'll love oh, it even I, more. I do. She don't. She don't. Oh, well, then teach no, her how but, to do that because that made it very so, fun for me. Well, you know, we do have that. It, I do it because that's how I was growing up. You know, I grew up gambling. I don't do it as much no more, but I'll make a little side bets, especially on boxing. Boxing is like my, like, I, your thing? I, I, I'll take your money. Uh, <laughs> take I, your money. Floyd Mayweather, thank you. You made me, <laughs> you made me, uh, Floyd May, May, Mayweather made me a lot of money. So thank you. Did he? he made himself oh, a yeah. lot of money too. Yeah, I know. But, you know, especially that Colin McGregor fight. Oh, oh yeah. my God. That I was could. brilliant. That was a brilliant oh, marketing yeah. scheme. Oh, it was brilliant for me because uh, you had all those people call him a great. I'm like, how can you get in? I'm, a, I'm getting off the point, but I don't see how you thought that some guy who from MMA could come into the boxing ring and fight the greatest boxer of our generation. Right. Well, you think had, he's going to win. He had to play by the rules of boxing, not UFC. Now, if you flip exactly. it around and made it the rules of the UFC, then it had been a whole different ball game. You know what? Honestly, Rebecca. I would disagree with that. Really? I think, Floyd May yeah, I would think I Floyd Mayweather. Know. I would, I would be willing to bet that Floyd Mayweather couldn't make it in MMA. I, I I'd be would say to if that. we changed the tables and it wasn't boxing and we had to put him in the octagon, I think it would have been a different story. With Colin McGregor, yes, yes. I will say I will agree to that. I will meet you halfway. However, I will be willing to bet that Floyd Mayweather, if he ever decided that he wanted to get an MMA, even in his 40s. I was going to say, he's a little could, old now. To He could he could dominate MMA. I don't I know. Willing, I mean, and, 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 you know, I'm not disrespecting the sport by saying this. No, I All understand. All I'm trying to say is that even I can do some of the stuff. I can do I can do an Americana. I can do a kimono lock. I can, I, I can okay, do it. Okay, it sounds like you're lock. talking about coffee. <laughs> but Rebecca, let's talk about this Twitch account. Oh, the Twitch. Yes. The, the Twitch. Twitch. The, the Twitch. Twitch. That sounds the like Twitch? oh that's you a... said the Twitch. <laughs> hey, I'm from Alabama. Like, Twitch, me... you know, like meth head, Twitch. <laughs> I d I don't get on I don't get on Twitch. So it's the Twitch. It does it... sound some it does sound like a movie. <laughs> the Twitch. <laughs> The Twitch. Like, tell it all, it's like that movie, uh, the TV show Cobra Kai. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Cobra oh, Kai. Cobra Kai on Netflix. Put it, yeah, put it, put one of those hash browns things on the, you know, like hashtags. Yeah. And put it on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> on the internet. Yes. Twitch is a, a streaming gaming site. So if you're yes, playing. I know what it, I know. I know what it is, but uh, you can... Well, I was just reiterating for the audience, just in case. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> just for you Alabama folks. This, <laughs> this is, is what people that is. Don't get the Twitch. Uh, yeah. And why would you want to watch people play video games? It's really about the um, interaction and the community uh -huh. and getting everybody together. And I, I, I play because I have fun. It's taught me a lot of stuff in software and OBS and bringing that all together. And now I, I can game with my fans and stuff. Of course, it's PG-13, so I, I'm very careful on my words there. And I don't shout out that I'm an adult film actress. If they find out, great. But it's a great way to like hang out with your friends. once. Oh, I only do it once a week. Well, twice if you call, if you count the podcast, but we celebrate horror there because horror is one of my hobbies and I love scary movies. So we play scary games. Oh, great question. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm really, I really like gremlins because gremlins? it's a Christmas slash it's Christmas slash horror. Plus I have a replica Look at this. A replica gremlin mic behind me up on that shelf. He's three foot tall. There's a giz over there. There's a uh, baby spike, you know, uh, mogwai right there. So I have a cute little collection behind me. So it's one of my favorite holiday movies. Nothing beats Jaws. I freaking, I argue with them about King Kong because I think King Kong could be considered horror 
They say, you know, my group says no, but I say it's a monster movie and it should count. Um, and of course, you know, the old school Elm Streets and Friday the 13th and stuff like that. I like the 80s horror. Okay, well. I can't just know, choose I, one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going out to get the PS5? Uh, I'm going, probably going out to get the PS5 for my kids. Oh, you don't play video games? Yes, I do. I'm just kidding. What I'm are your PS5. games? What games do you like? To I'm, play? I'm a sports guy. Oh, okay. I, I've never uh, I played, played the esports stuff. Uh, I played Madden, NBA 2K, WWE 2K, and they still make NCAA 2 uh, EA's NCAA sports. I would be playing those. I'm not much into shooting games. My stepson plays shooting games. And I try to get into it, you know, to build a relationship with them. Yeah. But. It's hard. It's, and those little yes. ships. The aim thing is just big. Yes. My stepson will kill me. Like, well, I'll play with him. And he, he don't teach you anything. <laughs> he, he was just like, okay, you ready to play, Joey? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Bam. You're dead. <laughs> What am and I supposed to learn from that? <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden it's like uh, it, you're playing, you're running, you're like, oh, you're going to win now. And all of a sudden he's got a bomb dropping on you. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Just, just, you, Trust me. I'm I going to, back. I try to play Call of Duty. It's it's too fu- it's too hard. There, six-year-olds are kicking my ass. And it's <laughs> and, frustrating and, me. <laughs> and they will cuss you out. Oh, the worst. Like, I thought yes. I had a, a sailor's mouth. No. One time I was playing Friday the 13th, and I had my voice chat on, on my Twitch, of all things. And on the Twitch. On the on Twitch. The t- and yeah. you heard these little kids going back, and they were so dramatic, and they were saying the F-bombs and a few other creative words that I'd never even heard of before, but it sounded really bad. And I was just like, holy crap, and I'm trying to mute them as fast as I can, but they were really hysterical about certain situations calling each other hey get get uh, if you ever get in the sports genre yeah yeah get oh you'll be fighting with grown ass man serious you know, and, yeah oh and the little kids too <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I stole, <laughs> I, I stole, you ever seen that movie with uh jennifer aniston and vince vaughn uh the breakup and whatever yes yes the, okay, you know that scene when he's playing the kid on uh, uh, football and he's talking, he's like, so tell me what you're feeling right now. That's me. I was like, hey, so tell me, I look at it, you know, I, so tell me what you're feeling right now, man. Huh? <laughs> your mama's sitting right there. How does you think your mama feels right now about you getting your ass whooped? And then I'll put, you know, I'll be talking online and like, hey, yeah. Is your mom in your room right now? Put her on. Just come show her this ass whooping. But I don't even get to do that every like I don't get you know, when you got five kids, you, you don't have time for all that. I Man, mean you can do it. I your have to wife do it needs like, a medal. Five kids. That's oh what? she has a hey listen, and my wife has a body of a a goddess. I, she, that is awesome. She, but I'm just saying she, she better have the energy of a goddess too because that's a lot of kids to be rounding up. Her her oldest kid is 23. Oh, and, okay. And then her daughter is 16. She's my daughter now. I adopted her. Oh, so oh, then, I got gotcha. you. So they're and so older. We ha- yeah, and so we have a nine. She's going to be 10 in December and we got an eight year, eight year old that's going to be nine in December and we have a newborn. <laughs> yeah that is crazy yes he's he was born march 31st oh, so he's I'm six march months 30th he's an aries baby oh look at look at we got so much in common right <laughs> right we, we like video games and and beer and beer and share wow. birthday months <laughs> look at this i know you're, it's you're adding paid. up your boyfriend better watch out because <laughs> I'm gonna have to join your family soon. <laughs> My wife will love you, <laughs> and, and we can react. That would be great. We can react one of your scenes in the movies. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy about that. 
So well, it depends no. on what scene. She might be happy with that. Yeah, the, the <laughs> scene when y'all was like talking on the table, playing cards. Oh, we were playing <laughs> cards. Yeah, yeah that's that, that scene. That scene. How about the yeah. girls in the shower? The five girls in the shower during cleavage field. How about that scene? <laughs> that's only in my dreams, kiddo. <laughs> only in my dreams. Okay, I I think you're a very cool human being. I never the 17 year old Joey is like wow. I'm talking to somebody that I used to watch. But you were 18, yeah, I, right? You were 18. <laughs> no, I was like 15. You were 18. No, 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 no. no I can't hear you no, right now. <laughs> I cannot lie on YouTube. It's illegal. You have to. It's illegal to talk about that. <laughs> it came on Showtime. It came on. It came on Showtime. <laughs> hey, man, actually, did you ever do uh, Red Shoot Diaries? No, I never did that, but I know what you're talking about. Oh. Do you have a Twitch channel? No, I do not. I thought about getting on there, and then when I figured out what it was, I was like, there's no point. Because you're not a, a gamer? Oh, not no, like well, that. Not like that. But you know what? I do the Deadlings podcast on there, and that's not gaming. That's They have talk shows and podcasts. Like, I you could do that. this, record it, and then put it and download it from Twitch and put it on YouTube. So you're dipping into both. Hey, maybe one day you can have me on your podcast, and I can. I do can you know a lot about horror? What do you want to know? <laughs> do you like horror? Do you? Because that's how we do the podcast. It's just a live chat and we just do the, the thing. Yeah, what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? What's your favorite horror movie? I like Scream. I like Jeepers Creepers. I like uh, Grandma Grandmother's House. I like... Grandmother's House? I don't even yes. know that one. Look it up. I will. I like, uh, either, either it's called Grandmother's House or Grandma's House. One or something like that. Well, I know Grandma's uh, House, the comedy. No, this is a horror film. Uh, it, it's about two uh, kids that go to their grandparents' house and realize that. Oh, yes. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah. I thought I, you like horror movies. I do, but I don't remember that one as, as well, as much. I but I do like Scream because it breaks the formula. Yeah, I like Scream 1. I like all the Screams. My wife said it's stupid. I like Paranormal Activity. I like uh, I like the Halloween. I like the original Halloween. I like the... the I'm not... They, they break off too much. I can't really follow. This new Halloween was pretty good. But yeah, yeah. They let, I'm glad they let you know that there's nothing to do with these Halloweens. It's just... It's, it's Halloween 1, and this is the ho sequel. So forget what yeah. happened in Halloween yeah. too. I like that they explained that to everybody. And it's like, but anyway, yeah, I, mean, I like movies. Period. I'm a big movie guy. I just That's watch like Tusk because everybody was telling me to watch it. And Kevin Smith did a podcast on Smodcast, and I guess they brainstorm this movie. Well, they actually made it a movie, and it was pretty damn good. It's really it's it's one of those movies that you really gotta like horror. But it goes down the rabbit hole, and it was pretty good. Tusk. It's not a Fleetwood Mac song. I don't know, but I like Fleetwood Mac. What? It's a song called Tusk, I, I believe. Mm, I'd have to look it up. But watch yeah, the movie Tusk. It it's on Amazon Prime, I think. I'll, I'll check it out. I just wa just recently just watched uh, Fright Night. Uh, the, the original? The, no, Colin Ferrer. No, you got to watch the original. It's way better. I've already I seen, I seen the original. Oh, I just okay. That's the reason why it took me so long to see this one. It was like, a... yeah. But no, it was the the second one was actually pretty good. It wasn't bad. Maybe because I saw it like ten years later. Maybe like, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Not my favorite. You haven't seen it? No, I have. I, it, it's been a minute, but I have. Oh, see, to me, it was just I saw it last night. So you know, when you see stuff ten years later and you didn't see it when it came out. That's how it was with Wishmaster. I didn't you, remember. Did you like? You didn't like Wishmaster. I didn't remember watching it, and that came out in oh. like '97 or sometime like. And but it had Freddy, Freddy Krueger. It had uh, Robert England, uh, yeah. Kane Hodder, and there was a couple other people in there. But no, I didn't remember watching it. So I just watched that recently. Candyman. Who's Candyman? 
Oh, that he was in Wishmaster? The guy no. that played Candyman? No. No, I was just bringing it, talking about a movie. Oh, no, I, I didn't know Candyman. Yeah, I know Candyman. I thought you said it meant that character no. was in Wishmaster. No, I, I got you. No, Candyman. Yeah, my, by Clive Barker. Favorite. Yeah, that's another favorite one. That's one of my favorites. Anything that you would like to plug? Sure. Rebecca Love would love to plug. Um, I have a OnlyFans. So if you like community and you like homework assignments and tasks and engagement, then go to OnlyFans.com slash Rebecca Love Triple X. All right. So you heard it here first. <gasps> Mom, if you're watching, I know you're proud of me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the one and the only Rebecca Love. Uh, stay on the line. Everybody else, if you enjoyed the interview, subscribe. So then, I'll be checking Sunday. comments too. I'll be looking under your comments, so I'll be looking. Oh, that was sex. She did that. All right. <laughs> See you next Sunday, Rebecca. Stay on the line.